Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create simulated objects that move on splines. In this simple scene, I have these three splines. And you will see that uh, the first half of these splines, the splines are overlapping. And the reason for that is because I want uh, these uh, objects to fork in three directions, but for this part I want them to be on the same trajectory, that's why I'm using these overlapping splines. They don't have to be 100% the same, but uh, I use the same spline, I just modified the other part. Now let's go and create a connect object, make sure we unselect the weld, and drag all my splines here so they are one multi-segment spline. And I have this uh, model here, a little polygon model of a cell. Let me create a cloner, make the cell a child, and set the cloner to be in object mode. When the cloner is in object mode and you put a spline here, you get some extra settings. First of all, I'm going to set this to even, so I have an even distribution here. I can go and increase the number and uh, go to the transform and turn this to 90 degrees. The other thing I want to do is add a bit of randomness. So with the cloner selected, go to the MoGraph, menu and bring up a random effect uh, and just make sure that the values are small enough so things are not too far off. Uh, maybe 3 and 3 and 3 is a good number. And finally, create a second random effector. I'm going to go to the random effector and create some rotation. Now, of course, you can add scaling and all these nice things, um, but I like to have them separate uh, because I like to have control with each object. Now let's go to the cloner and right click here and go to the bullet tags and add a rigid body. And of course go to the project settings and in the bullet general get rid of gravity. I've got it set to zero here. Now if I press play you will see that uh, they just explode because they are trying to avoid any collisions. But I want them to move and stick with the spline. So what I need to do is I need to go to my bullet tag and in the force set the follow position of follow rotation. Five and five will do in this particular case. And now I want them to move, but I don't want to add any keyframes for no apparent reason. Go to the cloner and you will see in the object tab, we have this rate parameter. And uh, this is the percentage of the spline length. It will move each second. And I can set this to 10 and you will see now that they're all moving in that direction, the direction of the spline. And there you have it. We have uh, full avoidance here. So it is a simulation, but uh, it allows these objects uh, to go in three different directions, depending on which spline they happen to be generated on. And uh, as a final little note, if you want to add uh, something that changes the animation, just add an object. I'm going to make it smaller. Go and add a bullet collider body. And now you can use this to create blockages or any other interesting things. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.